Welcome to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Today, I'm giving you a STEM challenge. Have you ever played a maze or walk through a maze like at the corn maze? Well, today you're going to have fun using the engineer and design process to make a marble maze. Yes, a marble maze just like this or your own design. One that you can take a marble and take it through the different parts of the maze to get it to the finish line. Well, I hope you are ready for this and we're going to have some fun. So exactly what is the engineer and design process? Well, engineers, when they are working to build structures or to make new things for us to use, they have to come up with a process, a way of doing things. they think of what is the problem what are we trying to solve what do we need to do to solve the problem so that's the first thing that comes in mind you have a question or what is the problem well the problem is we need some type of game that's entertaining that we don't have to plug up or use a video and something that we can make quickly and easily. So that is our problem. Now, now that we've come up with our problem, engineers think about how are they going to solve this problem? Well, we're going to brainstorm. So you want to think of many ways that you can create your own maze, that you can have a design to stump others or where others can be successful like I was using mine. And so you come up with many different ways that you could design your particular maze that you would like to make for someone else to try out. If you're working with someone, then it's even better because you can come up with multiple ideas and then combine your ideas. Now that you have brainstormed, engineers, they begin to plan and they plan by drawing it out. They begin to draw out their design and come up with how they are going to make. For this part, you're going to need a ruler, a pencil, and a white sheet of paper. Think about what you brainstorm and your ideas that you've written down. Once you've done that, you can take your ruler and begin to draw your design. You always want to have a starting place. So I'm going to put start here. So there's my starting place. Now I have to think about what roadblocks do I want to put in the way? That's going to be the walls. Where do I want the maze to go and where do I want it to finish? So I'm going to put my finish line over on this side of the paper. Once I have my start and my finish, then we just need to draw in the rest of our blocks or the way we want our maze to be constructed. Now that you've completed your drawing, you have your start and you have your finish and you have the roadblocks in place, now it's time to build. In order to build your maze, you're going to need some type of cardboard. It can be the top of a shoebox and then the rest of the shoebox you can use to cut to build the walls. You're going to need some type of tape, pencil, scissors, and a ruler. Also, for the adult supervision part, you're going to need hot glue for your walls or you can just use some type of craft glue and hold it until it's dry. In my maze, I did put holes in the, in the maze itself 
but I suggest that you do not do that unless you have an adult who can cut the holes for you. All right, so let's get started building. The first thing you want to do is to take your box and look at your design and draw your design in the box with your pencil. And you can use your ruler if you need to. Remember you had a place where you wanted to start. So I was starting over here and it is good to use a ruler. Now, when you're drawing your lines in the box, remember you want to leave enough room where the marble can go through the walls so you don't want your, a bunch of lines close together because the marble will not be able to travel. So I'm going to put start here and then I'm going to draw the rest of the line. show you, you just take the hot glue, get an adult to do this for you. I'm going to place the first wall where it says start and hold that there. And I'm going to place my second wall. Make sure you turn it the correct way. And I did measure these against the line and then cut them out. And so if I did this wall, I'm going to place this here and cut and glue. Once you get all the walls completed, then it is time for you to test out your maze to see if you can get to the finish line and then let someone else test it out. Now that you've built your maze, I want you to leave me a comment on how did you come up with your design and if it worked. Now, once you make your design, and you see that it needs some improvement, that's the last step to the engineer design process. So now you can go back and make improvements. Your first one we call a prototype. If the prototype does not work or it needs fixing, then it's time to go back to the drawing board, plan, you don't have to start from scratch, and decide your improvements. For instance, like mine, I was looking at it and in order to get the marble out, of course, I needed to have a place so that I can collect it. The other thing I noticed is that I may have wanted to move one of my holes, uh, I put one in the wrong place, so I may have to go back and stop that up or decide that that did not work. So there's always improvement that you can do when you design. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this and that you're able to get your maze done and have some fun with it. You are now engineers because you went through the engineer design process. You, what is, you ask what is the problem, you brainstormed and came up with ideas, then you made a plan and drew out the way you were going to make it. Then you built it and tested it out 
and then you went back and made improvements. I hope you enjoyed this STEM challenge and I hope you return for the next STEM challenge that I bring to you. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time on Michelle Gay Science Teacher. <laughs>